is at 10. An intriguing promise from the feds tonight. New technology will reduce flight delays even as more planes take to the skies. Fox 29's Bruce Gordon explains the plan and why it may take a while before it arrives. More than half a million flights arrive and depart Philly International each year, and the numbers keep growing. It's a big reason why this airport has one of the worst on-time flight records in the nation, and a big reason why so many air travelers are fed up. So it's a lousy experience, and I fly for a living, so I get a lot of it. That experience is about to get a whole lot better. So promises the Federal Aviation Administration in town today to show off its new high-tech answer to flying the crowded skies. One of the reasons flights are delayed is that the skies can handle just so much traffic safely. That's because aircraft controlled by the current ground-based radar systems must be at least five miles away from one another when in flight. During a midday fly-around, the FAA demonstrated its new satellite-based system, which gives each pilot in the cockpit information about the location of other flights. While the control tower would still be in charge, pilots could better understand their position in the overall traffic scheme. And so... We're hoping long-term that we'll be able to reduce that separation to uh, be able to put more airplanes into the airspace, uh, which will allow more direct routing of, of airplanes into airports. Which would mean fewer delays. Of course, the upgrade would also require improvements to airports themselves. For one thing, more runways to get more planes into the air. As for the price and timetable to fundamentally change the nation's air traffic control system, how about $21 billion over the next 10 to 15 years? The FAA is already pitching Congress. Several federal agencies are working together very closely to develop that system. And if it doesn't happen? Well, if it doesn't happen, we will face gridlock, ultimately. More planes getting more places, more quickly and more safely. It's not yet clear whether that promise can be kept. At Philadelphia International Airport, Bruce Gordon, Fox 29 News. And the FAA claims the new technology offers environmental benefits as well, since straighter routes and fewer delays mean less wasted fuel. Cracking the code. That's what